So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a simple assessment or a test on Outgrow. So before I do that, let me just explain to you what Outgrow does. Uh, using Outgrow, you can easily create interactive content such as contests, giveaways, polls, quizzes, surveys, calculators, e-commerce recommendations, assessments and chatbots. Now this helps you interact with your existing customers and prospects in an engaging way. Now the content that you create can be embedded on your website or can be promoted using your blog, email newsletter or social media channels and you get the capability to track the return of investment and analytics as soon as you go live. Uh, you are able to easily launch multiple campaigns and assess how they compare using uh, our compare tab. Finally, on your results page, you can have a key call to action which can be focused on getting the user to share the content, follow you on social, download a PDF, provide their email or phone number or schedule a call to go to a specific page on your site. So when you're on the Outgrow website, you have either the option of going to the dashboard and starting from scratch, or you can just go to a template section and then you can search by industry or content type, including, you know, all the assessment templates that we have, or you can look at all the trending tra templates that may be available. So if you just click on search by industry, it will basically load the uh, industry page and here you'll be able to see all the examples uh, for, for 21 different industries. But I'm just going to take you to the dashboard so that you can see how you can actually build an assessment for assessing your speaker talk or something. So in this case, uh, where once you're in the dashboard, you just click on assessments here and from here you'd be able to open uh, one of our various templates. So one of the templates that we already have is like, this is an assessment of my own talk uh, that we made on Outgrow. Uh, and so once people go through it, they're able to answer questions and uh, there can be various types of questions. It doesn't, just doesn't have to be a multi-select or single select questions question. And at the end, it shows people how much they got uh, what their score was out of like the total and based on how other people answered. So if I was to open this in my Outgrow Builder, I can just open this template by going to my Builder and once it's open in your Builder, you're able to edit it very easily. So all you have to do if you want to edit anything uh, on this screen. So this is what it will look like and here are all the editing tabs. So if I were to click on say I want to edit this section here, I just click on this here. And on the right hand side, it would open up all the editable sections. So I can uh, just uh, edit the text by adding something, you know, any text that I want, or I can subtract some text if I like. So the, all of that is just possible very easily. And you can add more options by click uh, more options to the questions by adding the by clicking on the add option button here. And uh, you can always just show which of the options is correct. You have the ability to do that. And you also have the ability, so when someone answers the question and they somehow answer it wrongly, then you have the ability to, ability to give them live feedback. So you can either show them why it's correct. So you can mention the reason here, uh, your answer was correct because this is so and so. So you can provide additional facts or you can just provide some kind of commendation for answering it uh, correctly. Or if it was an incorrect answer, you can say, oh, that answer was incorrect. The correct answer answer is ASDF because of so and so reason. So it's really up to you the amount of detail that you want to provide in these assessments. The key thing is that they can also be very educative because they are consistently showing the user and giving them uh, direct feedback about what they answered and whether it was correct or why it was not correct. So that's some of the things you can do. But in addition to uh, the option for single select question types, you can also have multi select and single select. And uh, you can also have images in the question title. So you can add any kind of image that can be used here that goes with this. So you're directly able to just click on this. And we also have some stock images that you can use or you can just directly upload any images that you'd like. 
and uh, in addition to that uh, you are also able to add a video to each of the questions so instead of just having an image uh, you can have a video or a little snippet from your talk and you can ask in the question uh, people's interpretation of what you were trying to say and see whether it's correct or incorrect so you can use it uh, the video option for doing that but the possibilities in general are endless and you can use it for many things so that's what you can do to the question itself but the options too you can add you know icons to the options so that instead of just a you know a text you can have different kinds of uh, logos that are showing here you can pick from any of these and so you you just make it like more fun to take by you know customizing it more and then you also have the option to add different images so you can actually have you know either you pick up images from a stock photos or you can just upload your own image so each option will be carrying a particular image and this just in general makes the uh, assessment very fun to take so in addition to the feedback loop and all of this we uh, can also see here some other options including uh, mark so there's also the option to mark as mandatory so you can what you can also do is like you know not all questions might be required to assess the value of someone's understanding of your talk so you can have some questions that are optional and some questions that are mandatory so you're able to do that and you also have the ability to reveal the results uh, as people answer questions so you know either you show them what the correct answer was or you don't show them so it's totally possible to do that uh, and then there's the option to add a countdown timer so each question can also carry a 10 second countdown or you can increase or decrease that so this makes it more like you know a contest and like you know it increases the urgency and you're able to test people's understanding on a time limited scale so it's possible to do that as well all right so in the welcome screen itself uh, you are able to change the logo so you can add the logo of your own company and you can redirect that logo to the url of your company that's totally possible or if you are the 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 company that's hosting the event you're also able to uh, make the logo be of your own uh, event so it's totally possible to do that as well and uh, the 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 call to action at the beginning of this assessment can be again be customized to say whatever you'd like it to say and so that's possible as well and the background itself right now we have put this little gif in the background for uh, indicating that an assessment is being taken but you can change this gif to uh, any gif that you want you can also use talk images you can use the image of the speaker itself uh, so it's totally possible to customize it to a great extent and you can also customize the color theme so currently as you notice it's using the color theme of outgrow so all these buttons and you know all these shades are basically what we usually use on our website but you are able to customize these color themes to uh, suit the color themes of your own company so that is totally possible uh, in addition to that uh, this is only just one kind of uh, uh, layout that I've shown you here but there's po it's possible to change the layout we have seven different types of layout uh, layouts that can accomplish seven different kinds of functions so do check them out by you know trying to change the layout and see which one you'd like to uh, use so that is uh, all that you can do with the assessments in addition like if you wanted to add more questions on the tab on the left hand side you're able to do that by just clicking on add and then add a question uh, uh, add a lead generation form so in this case uh, that's the other option that you can do so a lead generation form can either be here I've just put it right uh, with the results but you have the option to either put it on the welcome screen so that the uh, you know the person enters their email even before they start taking the assessment or you can have it with the questions themselves or before the results or with the results it's really up to you and uh, you can ask many details in the lead generation form you can, i've just asked for, for name and email but there's an option to uh, you know ask for uh, email a phone number zip code location others so it's really up to you in the other section you can you know for instance ask for their company name or their company size so you can really expand uh, the the ability of this lead generation form to include a lot of things 
uh, and again, you can have a call to action if it's on the results page, the lead, lead generation form. If it's on the results page, it can be, you know, build a similar assessment, which is, you know, a relevant call to action for Outgrow. But in your case, it might be something different, like, you know, take another assessment or like see how the speaker can help in consulting for your business. Or, you know, the call to action can differ from person to person. So that's possible. Uh, and in addition to that, here in the results screen, so once everyone has answered the questions and they have taken the assessment, uh, you are able to uh, categorize them and show a result message based on the score they got. So in this case, if the score was greater than or equal to 5 but less than 20, uh, you say this is the score, you have a really great understanding of Saksham's talk, maybe next time you can give a talk. So uh, it's really possible to customize this. So, but if the score was greater than or equal to three, but less than equals to four, uh, then you just say, oh, you've retained some of the key points, uh, but might want to revisit some of the concepts. So you're really able to customize uh, based on what score people get, the kind of message they are seeing. Uh, so that's possible to do. And then in the settings section, you are able to add a call to action th to the results page itself, if you like. So it doesn't have to be on the lead generation form. In case your lead generation form is located at some other point in the quiz, you can have a separate call to action in the outcome page. And you can also have the option to allow people to subscribe to your social, uh, to your company's social feeds, your Facebook or your official Twitter handle or Instagram handle. And in addition to that, you can also do share on social media, which allows people to share this assessment on social media. And that just increases the, uh, uh, the shareability and virality of your talk. So it's really possible to do all of this and customize it to a great extent. Uh, in addition to that, you also have the ability to go to the configure section and trigger email notifications to everyone who completes this assessment and based on how they completed the assessment. So it's like an automatic follow up email that you can set on, uh, you can turn on and it just sends from your own account to everyone who completes the assessment. And then you also have the option for notification to self. So in case anyone completes the assessment, uh, you get a notification to your own email saying, oh, this person completed the assessment. Uh, these are his details. This is how they answered. So then you're able to like, you know, do a customized follow up uh, to a greater extent. So and then again, uh, you're able to trace uh, uh, how many visitors uh, started this uh, assessment, how, where they were located, what kind of browsers they used, what traffic sources. In the user details section, you're able to see what their emails were, you know, what their, uh, which, which place they visited from, how many questions they answered, what score they got, and you're able to just export this quite easily uh, to uh, into an Excel machine readable format, or you can just export it to one of a thousand integration partners, including HubSpot and you know MailChimp. It's totally possible to do that. So you can do all of this with the Outgrow Assessments tools. And once you're finished making it and finished configuring and you know setting it up, you just make sure you click on Publish and then Publish to selected domain, which will automatically take it live. So if you have any questions, feel free to email us at questions at outgrow.co and feel free to check out our seven day trial. Thank you.